So that's a massive 10 smiley faces. Well done, Aya. That's brilliant. Yay. One, two, three, four, five stars already. I think we might get a record of 10 today. With today's strong oh, focus on inclusion and like bearing in mind the huge difference in teacher to pupil ratio, can special school strategies Aya, for teaching pupils with emotional and behavioural difficulties be transferred to mainstream schools? Penny Nice, the Senko for mainstream primary St Leonard's near Hastings, has come to special school Gibbs Green in West London to find out. Her day begins with an observation of the pupil referral unit class, taught by Joe Porter. Ashley shows our target. Can you read through your targets, please? To accept not to always to being first or second. And I remember on Monday when you were here, three or four times you said, OK, Joe, I'm going to go third in the line, I'm going to go fourth in line, didn't you? How was it when you went back to mainstream? Mm, it was all right, because I sometimes got in front, got there first, and sometimes never, and I didn't get angry or anything. You didn't get angry with it. Well done, so you were controlling your emotions as well. Excellent. It was Wednesday yesterday. What would you say for the morning? What face would you give yourself? I'm asking you to decide. Using targets is an integral part of the way we work here at Gibbs Green. We will have targets, which the child will be given. Um, we will refer to that target at the end of each session and review it and discuss what we need to do if we've not met it. Um, the children respond really well to this and it's very visual. Okay, I really like um, some of the things he was doing there at the beginning of the lesson. Um, he was going over yesterday and how yesterday had been for the children and getting them to reflect upon that. So smiley face for the morning, Josiah. Um, obviously the children were then giving themselves smiley faces and having to evaluate. Um, and I think from what he was saying that they come quite a long way in their process of not just saying I did really well yesterday but they were actually be a bit more honest in their reflections. And then he was just in that process he was reminding them of their targets and just reinforcing it and it was great. Nearly achieved target. Okay, good boy, that's very honest. So you're saying nearly achieved the target, so not quite a smile, but not unhappy. Well, obviously, a class teacher in a mainstream school would not be able to go through each child's individual targets in that same way, but um, it could be that certain children within the class could have, with perhaps a teaching assistant or even with a teacher, maybe before the lesson starts, just a a quick reflection on how they did yesterday and to reinforce and remind them of their targets for that day. At Gibbs Green Primary Learning Achievement Centre, or PLAC, Penny observes a class learning massage skills. Expert Isabella Natali leads the session and demonstrates on learning mentor Richard Boff. Mm, making space for lots of things to come into the head. Is the pressure okay, Richard? Yeah, and with a nice squeeze on the shoulders. Lovely. It's a very new kind of idea. Mm. So as a teacher, I was kind of, oh, what, what is the value of this? Mm. But it's amazing for these kids because they really learn to bond in a really positive <clears throat> way. Yeah. And the care and concern that they show for each other in that time every week has made that time of the week my favourite time and it really teaches them to respect each other's bodies as well. If you think it's too hard you could ask Ayub to do it much softer. That's okay? That's too hard. So speak assertively. So ask him really assertively can you do that softer please? I think I know that Ayub wants to give you a really nice massage. A lot of students are really tactile and they want to touch and they want that affection but boys in particular don't know how to do it appropriately. They were being very gentle and very respective weren't they of each yeah. other's feelings and you were using lots of sort of good words like ask you know ask positively ask assertively. Is on that For us in a mainstream school I can really see the benefits. I could use it in my nurture groups yeah, uh, on a sort of smaller group level mm -hmm. where I could see that working quite well um, and uh, maybe class teachers might be interested in incorporating it into their sort of daily routine you know as a sort of session where they might want to calm children down a bit after a, a lively lunch time or play time. Uh, I'm really really impressed boys with that massage and I'm thinking in my head of the smiley faces before we do that 
we need to set the classroom up. And I'm looking for our learning target this week, which is who can work cooperatively. In a relaxed state, the Platt class moves on to a literacy lesson. What is that? That's a hand. So her and. Kyle, what have you got to do on this sheet? Well, what you've got to do yeah. is. Right, the key thing that I really noticed there was that the children were confident, they were straight away on their task, they knew what they had to do and they were able to do it. <laughs> Students just get so frustrated because they cannot read a worksheet that it's a lot easier to push the worksheet away, throw a chair, be kicked out of class and have a reputation for being bad than being dumb. Nathan, I'd like to see you working, please. So what do you do when you've done your work? Yeah. I think, you know, it's, it's really for, for teachers to feel quite happy, mainstream teachers to feel happy, that the work they give children like that may be, you know, very attainable for them. It may be slightly below their level, but you've got to then build on that success, really, in, in being able to do something they can do straight away. You're gradually feeding in, perhaps, bits of work that then become slightly more difficult. Hey, this is our major reward system we have across the whole school. Um, basically, it's you work towards getting towards your gold award. Um, and what they do is they earn on a daily basis, they earn smiley face stickers. Right. And they need to get to 200 to become into the bronze. It's very visual and they're able to see exactly where they are and where they need to go. And they will refer to it and they will t talk to each other about where they are, why they're there. And, the feeling of getting into gold is, for the two that have managed it, I mean, they were really, really happy. The way we do it here is that smiley faces have been given by any member of staff, from mm. caretaker to head teacher, and it really it's for behaviour around the school, in the right. playground, in the classroom, cooperating with others, encouraging others, and they will give it to um, the child. The child will then come back to the class with a certificate, So I've got five or ten, can you add them to the board? And slowly, slowly you work up to your 200 for, for, for bronze. 400 for silver and 600 for gold. Penny observed Smiley sticker awards being given to the pupils during circle time. Right, this morning before we start, I'm going to give a few stickers out and I'm going to give the first one to Abe. And that's because you've come to the circle and you've done exactly what I've asked you to do, which was to sit down really sensibly. You haven't called out, you haven't disrupted in any way. Yeah, and you've been a perfect role model for everybody else. So well done. Richard, I want to say that I'm really impressed with how Rio and Nathan both followed an instruction and they're now sitting in the right place. And, and I saw Nathan was a little bit upset before, but he's turned himself around and he's ready to have a really good circle time. So I'm looking at those boys thinking that, you know, they can keep that behaviour up and they're definitely going to get a sticker. I noticed um, in Sally's class that she was using her teaching assistant um, having a conversation about a child and a child's choices, mm -hmm. not actually directly confronting the child. And that really worked really well. They did it several times, and I noticed that that was a very, very good way of... It's, it's a a non-confrontational way, really. Of redirecting yeah. without having conflict. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's the key. And again, that's something that um, I can take back to... Um, to my staff and talk to them about in the way they use their teaching assistants and you know and that's sort of a different approach really isn't it? Mm. Mm. We could do, we could because you went in on the last round. Yeah, that this can go that way. That way. Before I do the round I'm gonna give a sticker to Kyle. Because Kyle is being really mature, really sensible, and he hasn't been drawn into any of the distractions that's been going on in this I'm going to give you a warning. Me, I need to speak to you again. Really, you really glad that I've got Thank parents you. who are happy to help, help me. Really thankful for that. I've noticed that. Um, that it's very, very calm in the school as well, and uh, all that the adults are using the same language and approaching children in the same way. So I think that's the key, really, to to you know to how perhaps we can develop things in a mainstream school uh, it's that consistency of, of approach it's that real calm way of, of dealing with with some difficulties well, absolutely in the two years that i've been here i've not actually raised my voice above talking level because i realized there'll be no point when i was a year six teacher 
Well, I did it all the time. Yeah. There we go. When people help me, I feel... Because you're moving around, it's hard to concentrate. I'm giving you a warning. Can you take time out for one minute, please? The blue timer, the one minute timer, is on the top shelf. We have two timeout areas. Yeah. We try to make that as much as possible an opportunity for kids to reflect on their behaviour and to chill rather than right. a punitive you right. know, consequence as such. Yeah. Um, and kids will tell us when they need to take time out often. When they first come in here, we talk about situations as being like fires. Mm -hmm. You can add a bucket to that fire to help calm down that situation or mm -hmm. you can add a log to that fire to help excite that situation. Right. So all the time, kids are trying to make, understanding the choice between making a situation better or making a situation worse. Because we might say, well, you can have time up for five minutes. I it's very hard for them to, to gauge, I guess, yeah. how long five minutes is and actually an egg timer or something there to give them a specific time. <coughs> what? He stepped on my leg. I don't care. Hmm, like <laughs> Go away. <laughs> How did these boys put a log on it? Oh. You haven't got ideas. Abe said you stepped on my foot, then Nathan said I don't care, and that's putting a log on it. And then um, Abe pushed Nathan and he said, go away, you dumb. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so by saying I don't care, that was actually putting a log on it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, Richard, I'm really impressed with Nathan because at the start of the lesson he was feeling a little bit sad mm -hmm. but he was able to really turn it around and join in. So I'm very impressed with Nathan. Hey, well done, Nathan. We have a huge focus on reflection here at the school both after incidences at the end of the day and then also at the end of the week. So let's reflect as a solution-based um, approach that we have to get students to rate their week out of 10, say things that they've done well, things that they might need to improve on, and to set targets for the next week. Close your eyes and think back to the beginning of the day. I want you to reflect on your day and feel how well you've done. I'm going to give out your sheets, give yourself a score, think about it and do it honestly. Here you go. Are you going to give yourself a desire? I think I'm number seven. Oh. For you? Yeah. yeah, I think that's quite I said, honest. That is. I would have gone a bit higher. I'm really pleased with the way that he's done I mean, his 30 seconds. When you ask him something, he does it. 30 seconds, he does it now. If, if he's confident, and one of we have a very great team here, and um, after school, we always have a review of the day, which I found vital as a way of talking about what's happening and actually leaving what can be quite an emotional time behind and moving on. It was very interesting just to sit back and listen in their staff meeting at the end of the day. And although there were some difficult things that happened today, some children had some quite difficult times today, there was a plan already about what was going to happen tomorrow for those children. So everybody knew exactly what was going to happen the next day for that child. I found today's experience very useful for my own personal practice exciting because I could see children's behaviour being turned around even just in one day um, and I could see children's confidence being raised and that was very 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 important.